Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is somewhat of a local issue, but it's also a world issue, World Hijab Day, I never knew there was such a thing. I was listening to the Shannon Joy show on WYSL this morning, well, yesterday, and it runs locally 12 to 1 o'clock. Um, WYSL in Rochester at any rate uh, and that's how I learned about this uh, Friday is World Hijab Day World School World of Inquiry School number 58 will be participating in World Hijab Day on February 5 the idea is part the idea to participate came from students wanting to take part of the moment movement that brings awareness and understanding different cultures. That's BS. That is bullshit. Talia Kronegis is a senior at school. She never wore a Muslim headdress, knows a job, but is excited for the chance. Why? It's one of the most oppressive garments in uh, history as helping the teacher make carnation stuff for the boys we'll have kids come in and help us make them so they seem pretty excited about it. the boys are going to wear carnations world high job is global movement now in its third day third year is first time schools participated Scott Kamegi's telling his dad is supportive of his daughter taking interest in other cultures. That is bullshit. Idiot. I like cultural diversity. I think learning about other cultures is great. It's not a culture. It's a destructive religion that's oppressive towards women, you idiot. On Thursday afternoons, Rochester City School District released a statement that read, World Inquiry School number 58 is honoring a request from students to build. That's a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. To build awareness as part of World Hijab Day. Ah, right, come on, these are walking, talking piles of... Uh, Hormones, uh, and they don't think about World Hijab Day. That's BS. That is incredible bullshit. On Friday, a group of students will be at informational tables in the cafeteria during mealtime to talk about the hijab and other headwear where worn by people of diverse cultures. No, it's worn by a religion, you idiots. Female students will be invited to wear a hijab for the day, and male students can wear carnations if they wish to join in the observance. This is a student-led cultural opportunity, not a religious event. Oh. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. That is a lie. This is exactly why I like this school, said Scott. I think the city school district... I like the city school district because you get a lot of diversity, not just ethnically, but culturally. This is religious, you idiot. That is incredible bullshit. And I think that's important. If students are interested in taking part in the event, no, I heard it was mandatory, and Shannon Joy told me it was mandatory. Given the choice of believing her or believing this, I'll believe her. They'll be able to stop by the information table to set up the cafeteria during breakfast and lunch. Even if, it, even if I misunderstood her and it's not mandatory, they should at least uh, inform parents. Do you want your kids to participate in this? It's possible I could have misinterpreted what she said, but even if 
even if I did, her parent, their parents should have been told. <sighs> Unbelievable. Let's cut the crap here. They're teaching Islam. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're teaching Islam. Don't give me this BS that this is cultural. This isn't cultural. This is an ugly garment that women in Islamic countries are required to wear. I'm disgusted. This is Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.